Hello everyone, I'm here at Avid Connect with Terry Williams from AJA. Maybe you can get us in the loop what is new that you're showcasing here at Avid Connect 2018. Yeah, absolutely. So what we brought to Avid Connect are two new Thunderbolt 3 connected I.O. devices for Avid Media Composer, Avid Pro Tools, etc. They are the DNX IV and the DNX IP for IP workflows. Uh, DNX IV allows you to connect uh, sources up to 4K uh, 60p, uh, even at 12G, uh, and the DNX IP allows you to connect to an IP network to move your SMPTE 2022 dash 6 and 7 or SMPTE 2110 content into your network or pull it off of your network. What are kind of the uh, connectivity options that you have with these boxes? So on the Avid DNX IV, uh, you've got baseband connections for anything from standard definition all the way up to uh, 4K, 60p, 12G. Um, and you've got HDMI 2.0 in and out. On the DNX IP, you've got IP uh, SFP slots. So those would be your inputs and outputs, but we did also give you monitoring outputs in HDMI and SDI. Are there any more features or specifications that you can uh, give a short overview of uh, about these two products? Well, so one thing that uh, Avid requested be on these boxes was an XLR audio input on the front of each, uh, which can take either line, microphone, or even phantom power a microphone uh, for punch in audio and so forth. Who's the typical user uh, that would be interested in buying such a device? Avid editors. Uh, anyone who uses uh, Media Composer, perhaps in the field, uh, these small devices make it very easy to be portable with an Avid workstation. Uh, you can run Media Composer or Pro Tools on a laptop computer and connect these with uh, DC power even if you had to run off of a battery. Um, so they make for a lightweight, uh, very small and rugged uh, mobile solution. So that's it here from Avid Connect 2018 with Terry Williams from AJA.